Um, so, it's the end of the day. I'm about to go to bed. But I really wanted to share something kind of another conflict, but, you know, it just popped up at pretty much towards the end of the day or so. I'm doing better now, but it's popped up at the end of the day, pretty much. And it was like having a really good day, you know, like I actually felt happy and motivated and I was studying for my test and stuff like that. And, you know, I was doing all of that and I decided to take the test and I ended up getting a lower score than I would have gotten if I just didn't even fucking study at all. I, I ended up getting like a 78 out of 100. And I know what you may be saying, Vincent, that's not bad, that's not feeling out, but Usually I get higher scores on these kind of tests, like I would usually get like an 84, like I did on the other test, but I didn't for this test, even though I literally studied more. I did literally, like, what the teacher said, add in an extra hour, hour of studying or something, and I did, like, I literally studied all day, but I guess that doesn't even really matter, I guess, like, I don't know, dude, it's... It's just odd, because I thought I knew the material, but then the questions were just, I don't know, some of the questions were a bit odd to me. Like, they were talking about this one disorder, where basically, like, the person finds it attractive to, like, cross-dress and stuff, and then it gave, like, options, like, Oh, if Terry is this thing way, then what is she? Is she male, female, or gay, or something? There was another answer, I don't even know, but I just found it to be a bit of a weird question. And then I literally ended up, like, um, just choosing, like, gay, because I, I wanted there to be kind of like a, you know, like, thinking of transitioning option, or like, something like that because it's just like you know like I feel like that would have fit more because you know like um in the disorder there was like um the word like transit and this had to do with cross-dressing so they were just like oh like they kind of want to display as the other gender or something like that but I just found it odd because it was kind of confusing just because like I, d I didn't know how to answer that. And also, like, it's just very specific questions sometimes. Where it's not really, like, generalized. It's more, like, these very specific questions that could have multiple answers. And it just got a bit confusing to me. And it sucks. Because, you know, I really like psychology and stuff and to know that I didn't do well on this test it just sucks because it just like I I guess I've always felt dumb in school and literally like I pride myself saying like um pride myself because I basically pushed myself to get like strays and stuff and like I was able to do that at you know my first year of college but then it kind of just dropped off and stuff and it just like yeah like I was doing so well when I was in college for teaching but now it since I like switched my field to psychology it's just like I'm with this one class even though just one class I keep on thinking like is this even what I'm meant to do and I feel like I have no other options, though, because, like, one, like, I really like this field, and also I like the idea of actually, like, being able to help people in, like, a therapy-type setting, and also to add on, like, you know, I, I kind of had to quit the idea of teaching, I don't know if, 
a lot of you watch my intrusive thought video, but basically I have intrusive thoughts, like, pertaining, like, um, that kind of have to do with, like, children, like, just, like, school settings, stuff like that, and literally, like, when I was doing clinicals, like, these intrusive thoughts would pop up, and then I would literally feel so much shame about them to the point where I couldn't handle, like, the shame of it anymore, and I just literally, um, I, if, I, I felt like a fraud, basically, in my major, in my field, even though at first, like, everything was just fine, and I never even had these sorts of thoughts beforehand when I in initially started to want to go in the field, but now it's just like I'm stuck with this and it just like you know like I felt too guilty to really go on with it so I was just like I completely dropped that sort of thing and I guess it's a part of the reason why I got so stressed out at college among plethora of other things was because that kind of just added on to everything like I just felt so horrible that I Literally, just felt like I couldn't do the job anymore. So, that's why I quit. And it, I feel like it would have been really bad for my mental health if I just ended up staying just to push through. Because, you know, um, it just wouldn't have worked really that well. And also, like... Again, I really like psychology, but I just feel like I'm too dumb in a way to even comprehend most of it because it, I, I, I think that I understand the concept and I think that I learn easily, but then, like, when it comes to these tests, it's just, like, I can't do it, like, barely. And I know I sound pretty dramatic saying that, but it's literally, like, I don't know, I've never really been that great at test taking, really, like, I feel like the only reason why I was able to really get, like, straight A's and stuff was because, like, um, most of my teachers, thankfully, at my own college, like, they were pretty straightforward in, like, their answers, like, pretty much the tests were kind of the, had the same questions as a study guide, but, but this teacher, like, you literally have no idea, so I just don't know, really, like, what to do. And it's just like, yeah, it makes me so confused because, I don't know, I'm just not, I just feel like I don't really have much of a purpose, like, anymore because I literally, like, dropped my, like, dream of becoming a teacher because I wanted to become a teacher since I was a kid but now I can't really do that so it just like yeah like um now I'm with psychology because I really feel passionate about the subject when I'm just learning on my own and stuff like that but I feel like when it comes to actually like learning it in a school setting it's just a completely different ball game. It's so hard. Like, I didn't realize how hard it would be. I thought it would just be, like, one of the easier subjects. But no, I actually heard that, like, psychology classes in college are hard. And, I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. It's, it's just hard. And I feel like I'm literally never going to be normal because I literally saw one of my friends like and they like posted this thing of like you know like um they like took a picture with these group of people and they were having so much fun and like you know like they get to be in, you know, a major that they're happy, happy in, and they get to, like, you know, connect with people in that kind of way, and I kind of feel 
I feel as if I'm looking at all these people who get to live out their dream. I get to look at all these people who are literally, like, so happy. Which I know realistically, like, they aren't necessarily happy, but it's just, like, you know, like, they get to live a normal life, you know? Like, they they can connect with people, and they are able to, you know, actually, like, do the things that they want to do. Like, even if they have obstacles, it's just, like, well, like, those obstacles aren't really things that will, like, stop them from, like, you know, you know, like, most people have obstacles, like, that's kind of, like, get better with time, like, you say, like, oh, you never know what someone else is going through, well, yeah, but I feel like with some people, like, their situation pro progressively gets better with time, where I feel like I've always been in this, with me, I feel like I've always been in this space of just trying, but things just don't work out, or they kind of just get worse or something, like, it just, like, it's just, like, I feel like things are getting better, but then something else is just added on top of it, and then it turns into shit again, and it just, like, I'm, I don't really, hmm, I don't know, I just wish I was normal, in a way, like, I feel like an alien, I literally feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm, like, observing people instead of actually being a part of anything. I kind of, like, observe and kind of envy these people because it's just, like, you know, <laughs> it seems like they, they're having a lot of fun and also, like, they get to do all these cool things. They get to be leaders. They get to, you know, live out their dream. And I feel like whenever I try to live out a dream or whenever I try to, I don't know, like, when I have hope for something, it just feel like it always dimish diminishes in a way. Like, it always ends up where nothing really happens in the way I expect it to, or in the way I dream of. And I guess that's a part of the problem, is me having too high of expectations for the world, but at the same time, it's just like, I feel as if other people are kind of like happy and everything works out for them and stuff. Like, even if, like, they have bad stuff happen, like, things do work out for them and stuff. Like, they do ultimately get what they want at some point where I feel like, with me, just, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like whenever I think I'm on the right path, it just, like, it's not... Something ends up just ruining it in a way, and I feel like it's getting ruined again because I thought oh maybe I actually belong in the field of psychology but now I'm kind of questioning it because of this grade I got and it's just like dude and also I thought that I belonged in the field of teaching but then I realized that you know like well the intrusive thoughts but also to add on like all these people who were, like, you know, the, you know, who were becoming teachers, too, they were just way more outgoing than me, and way better than me, and I feel like, also, like, I remember telling my high school teacher once that I, because, like, initially, I wanted to become, like, a music teacher or something, then everyone was surprised about that. 
And then, like, I dropped that idea because it just, like, I don't really want to do that anymore. But, yeah, um, basically, um, I, I don't know. The action on that's kind of note or something like that. Like, I literally, like, um, what is it called? I don't know, I am... Sorry, I'm blanking out. I just, like, remember, like, when I... It was, like, you know, the last day of high school and, like... Or so, or around that time. And the teacher was asking everyone, like... Oh, like, what are you majoring in and stuff like that? And where are you going to college? And... I literally just said, like, I don't know, because I, 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 like, didn't know that I wanted to be a teacher and stuff like that, or I wanted to work with people, but since people kind of saw me in this, like, I, 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 I just kind of thought that people were going to judge me for it and be like why is she working in that field when she's literally like the most quiet one here like what can she really do to help people you know like she's like she's like rude like why would she even help people and stuff like that and I kind of just felt like you know um I kind of just felt like not saying anything even though I didn't even know that like, I'm not really blaming any of these people because it's just, like, you know, like, I was kind of just catastrophizing it in my head. But it's still one of those things where it's just, like, you know, I feel like I literally do not go on in any sort of job or any sort of purpose at all. Like, I feel like I... Whenever I think I found something, I always fall short of some it, and it's just like yeah, because I was going to become a special ed teacher, but then the intrusive thoughts came, and then I started having imposter syndrome, and then also to add on, like I just didn't have much experience with people with disabilities, and also. An another thing which I guess I, I don't necessarily like talking about but I guess I'll just say it. um I I don't know I just feel like sometimes I'm more judgmental of people who are different because I was judged for being different as a kid so it just like I felt so much shame because of that even though I really fuck sorry even though I really wanted to learn how to, like, be better. Like, I just always still had these sort of, like, thoughts that ran around my head about it. And it just, I felt horrible. And I didn't even feel like, literally, like, doing shit about it. Like, I just felt like, just running away from the field in that way too because it's just like well I don't want to hold up I'm I was just afraid that I was never gonna get through that sort of thing and um that I was always going to have biases or have this judgmental frame of mind which I don't know dude like I just felt like I couldn't do it even though I really, like, wanted to and really resonated with these people, just, like, I couldn't, because <sighs> I felt like I would have hurt everyone without, really, and I feel like I already have, so it just, like, I guess I, fuck. <laughs> Because I remember, you know, like, I remember this one time I, I was at this one thing, basically. And, like, you know, like, there is someone, like, with, like, a disability doing this sort of behavior. And then I was kind of just staring off into space. Then 
this one person basically said, like, that it, I was, I don't know, I, I don't know, I was, like, trying to be accepting, but then at the same time, like, sometimes, like, a thought would pop up into my head, and then basically this, like, one kid basically said, like, that girl is looking at this person like they're crazy and stuff. And then I realized, like, holy crap, I literally hurt this person. And then I felt so bad. Like, I couldn't anymore. And now I feel so much shame because of it. And also, like, other situations like that, too. I'm sorry, dude. It just, like, it hurts because I really, I really don't want to be judgmental of these people, but, like, my brain just, like, can't shake it off because I've been told my whole life that I'm a mistake, so I've always felt like it. I've it's always been insinuated that I'm like a dumb person and stuff like that, and that there's something wrong with me. So now I think that anyone who's similar to me is just the same. Even though that I know that's not true, but I just like, I can't. I literally can't. Like, could be a, that sort of thing. Fuck. And I just wish that I could. Oh, fuck. I am so sorry. Don't be so emotional with me. It's a touchy subject for me, okay? It's one of those things where I. I, I really do want to be out, you know? But. I feel like I fall short. And I feel so... <sighs> and I just want to be better, you know? But... I just... And I just feel like I'm so judgmental towards other people. And it's just like, it's killing me because I don't want to be that way. But it's just turned into an automatic thing where I can't stop myself from doing so sometimes. And it's just like, in my head, at least, like, I've never actually outwardly said anything or done anything or anything like that. But it's. <sighs> it's just like, I feel so fucking. Fuck. I just feel so bad that I I feel so bad that I possibly like hurt someone with those judgments by like my body language or something like that. Like I feel so like I just wish I could just stop myself from like having any sort of thoughts ever. And I could just literally just be this accepting person that I want to be, but it's hard. And I feel so bad. I can't, like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel so bad. And also because, like, you know, like, I, I already know how much, like, damage it is to, like, you know, like, bully someone and, like, make fun of someone, and it, it's not like I'm doing that, like, I'll really, but I, I just don't know why, even though I know the pain that it causes, I'm still, like, 
thinking these things and having these same thoughts that people who have judged me in the past have heard. Like, I don't know why I'm as low as them. And it just, it, it brings so much shame. And I feel like sometimes, like, people can see that I'm judging them. Because, you know, like, I can't really hide my emotions that well. So, sometimes it has gotten to the point, literally, where, like, I don't know. Like, my eyebrows will be, like, down or something like that. Like that. And then, like, you know, like, it will just automatically happen without me really, like, wanting to do that. Like, I'm not consciously trying to make them feel bad. I, I just, like, I don't know. It's one of those things where I kind of just do it sometimes without noticing when I'm having a thought that's, like, judgmental. And then it's looking at the other person. And it's just like, <laughs> because like they might be speaking and I'm, I get the thought and then like, literally like, my eyebrows just go down. And it's just, I, <sighs> I don't know. And, <sighs> I've literally, that happened once and I felt like I gave off so much like bad energy especially like I felt like this one person literally like hated me like I just felt the energy of it and now I like I know why they did like and their reason was like understandable you know like I was a fucking jerk like it's not like I necessarily said anything but you know like my eyebrows just went down and like I was like thinking something and then I just felt weird. I hate the idea that I might have scarred someone for life and made them feel unwelcomed. Sorry, this is, I don't know why I'm crying so much about this. But yeah, it's just something that I feel strongly apart. Um, but like, I can't even, like, I feel strongly about like accepting people and stuff, but I can't even do that. And I feel like I've literally failed myself. And, I feel like I failed my whole purpose in this world. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. I know I'm crying a lot, but <sighs> it just one of the values that I have that I guess I can't I haven't been up to yet something that I want to be but I just haven't been up to and I guess I just feel a lot of shame because of that because I'm not the person who I really want to be and And people will say, it's fine, like, these people probably aren't that hurt, but still, it's, I feel like it's not really, for me at least, it's, it's not about, like, just acting in the right way, it's about actually thinking the right way, and I feel like if I'm just acting in the right way, but not thinking in the right way, then I feel like a fraud. 
I feel like a fraud. And I feel like a fraud when it comes to this whole accepting people thing. Because it's just like, I want to accept people. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like a fraud because I, I have this mindset that's not accepting at all. Towards anyone. And it's just like, oh, fuck. But yeah, fuck, <laughs> dude, but yeah, I just really hope that it can get better, be a better person, be worth something, you know, but I don't really feel that way right now, so just like, I wasn't expecting to cry. But I guess crying is a great thing to do because it releases your emotions or something like that. Um, yeah. I look like Rudolph from a Bill's Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. But yeah. Um, I have a red complexion. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> My nose is like so stuffed up. Fuck. It, it's so silly. You know? It's so silly. Billy. Um, and there's like a cowboy hat. I gotta find something to like wipe this off with because I don't, I don't know where. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm at. Um, Let's see. I guess I'll just use this bag for now and then throw it away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. You can. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, that's me. A uh, crying mess. But you know. Um. I actually feel better. And, you know, um, let's say a positive thing about my day. I got pizza today, so that was pretty good. Um, my family usually gets pizza on Fridays. Fun Fridays. It's kind of like, you know, those pizza parties that you have at school or something. Like you had in, like, elementary school or middle school or something. Yeah, kind of those. It's kind of like that, but, like, for family fun thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty fun, um, yeah, it's a, it's a tradition kind of thing, we got Pizza Hut this time, again, and we got those thin crust ones, and those ones are pretty good, I really like them, um, they're very nice, and also, I, 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 I love this headband, and I literally, like, I, I wore this headband today just because, you know, I, I have, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, and, you know, my, my beans be looking a little greasy, so I just thought I would pull them back so that, um, no one has to witness that, so that I can pretend that everything's fine and that I washed my hair today, you know, um, yeah, sometimes I do that when I'm out in public, like, I literally just, like, tie my hair back, and then I'm just, like, well, I didn't shower, but, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm just gonna go out and listen. Because, like, I don't have the time to really, like, shower. Because I'm just, like, uh, you know, like, it might be, like, an hour away. But it's just, like, uh, it takes too much time to shower. It takes too much energy to shower sometimes. Like, it's mainly about, like, the initiating and kind of getting ready for a shower. And mentally prepared for a shower than, like, the actual shower itself. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, yeah, um... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a small little, I'm a smiling little dick right now. 
I don't know why I thought dick. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just small little shout. Like, I don't know. I I actually really like my swimming. Like, this is probably my favorite part about me. Like, I just think it's so cute, kind of. Like, I even think my smile is cute. And other people have said, you look nice when you smile. So, I'm gonna smile more in the way. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, we're smiling today. Uh, probably for one of the first times in videos ever. This is probably, like, the most I've ever smiled on camera, so it just, like, you know, you're saying the rare, really rare sighting of, you know, this mentally unfiltered bitch, like, showing a little smile, but, yeah, um, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Actually, I'm going to read the affirmation because, uh, it's, like, late, so, like, it's the next day, pretty much. And so I'm going to read, um, the affirmation for, uh, technically, like, today in order to, you know, um, do that sort of thing. I think it's today is, I forgot what day. Oh, yeah, it's March 23rd now. I, yeah, so... Um, oh, uh, okay, this, this one's actually kind of sweet. <laughs> anyway, um, the world, okay, so, oh, sorry, um, March 23rd, love is all around, the world is rich in love, one of our few, few ever known resources, flowing out from each of us to fill our hearts and build a better world. You two are surrounded by so much love. There are people in your life who will love you continually, no matter what happens or what mistakes you make. <laughs> this kind of unconditional love helps us be better, change the world, and pass that love on to others who need it. Make sure to tell the person who gives you this love how much they mean to you and how much you love them in return. <laughs> That's so sweet. Like, I'm literally almost cried again because of that like like i i kind of felt like you know like tears like welling up but i i didn't cry but that's what i mean by i felt like crying but yeah like um <laughs> that that was just i feel like that was a really sweet message to hear especially like you know with the topic of the video of like kind of the things i talked about um so I was just like, yeah, like, no matter what you've been through, no matter what mistakes you have made, you're still deserving of love, and you still are loved. And it's, I feel like love does conquer all sometimes, you know, like, sure, like, it's not going to fix everything. It's not going to take away all of the conflicts, you know, like, you're still going to have to, you know, for example, like, if you're in a relationship, sadly, like, love isn't really all that makes it continue. It's also, like, other factors, too. But what I'm saying is, like, love can really change the world, the feeling of love. If you show someone unconditional love, like, for example, if you so show a stranger unconditional love, even, like, or, you know, like, one of your classmates or one of your co-workers or someone who you really think, um, could use it, like, it could really mean the world to them, because, you know, you never know if that person has never really gotten unconditional love, like, a lot of people in their childhoods, they kind of go without, like, unconditional love, or, like, love in that kind of way, or, like, maybe they have gotten unconditional love, like, maybe they do have good parents, but, like, just in their environment, like, they don't feel loved or something, or, like, they have low self-esteem and just don't feel loved, even though people could help them, and, you know, it's just good to share love in a lot of different ways, and to not only, like, tell someone that you love them and that they're loved, but to show that they are loved and show that you love them, and I guess that's the beauty of, like, friendships and like relationships and stuff like that and 
you know, like helping other people out is that you're showing that you care and you're showing that you love them. So, yeah, that's the affirmation that I wanted to close off with. Um, thank you for watching this video. I don't know why I'm so smiley right now, but <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Um, yeah, actually, I like being smiley. I just like, I don't know why I'm saying I don't know why. I guess it's just because I think that people are going to judge me for being smiley and stuff like that. But, you, you know, because, I don't know, I've, I feel like because of, like, environments I've been in before, I just think that people are going to judge me literally for anything that I do, even though it's just like, well, that's not necessarily the case, and if they are going to judge me, then fuck them. But, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really need to hold space for myself and realize that it's okay to express myself, and if I'm okay with expressing myself, then I'll be able to share that love with others, kind of like how, you know share that acceptance with other people, have that grace for other people, just like how it said in that quote, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, bye!